The game would never be the same, as a right with anything but a simulated will to find a way was woven into existence. That's right, Will Wright was born. And now that you've been spoon-fed your quota of requisite puns, a brief bio. The man was born a prodigy in Georgia, a kid who became fascinated with the way things work and how mechanisms interact with one another. Throughout a rocky college tenure that had him jumping from architecture to engineering specialties, Wright eventually became wholly infatuated with computers. Moving to California, the silicon center of the solar system, he began development on his first video game, an isometric title called Raid on Bungling Bay in 1984, whose paradoxical design, that is, a game that mixed the mindlessness of destruction with the intelligence of a complex system, how to to disrupt an economy would lead Will to Sim City, his breakthrough hit. Bungling Bay had taught Wright one thing. The level editor was a valuable tool. Much like years later when Halo would be transformed from a strategy game to a first-person shooter on account that its creators had more fun moving this one guy across an alien landscape, Sim's creator would find it more entertaining to build than blow up. And though SimCity was initially blown off by publisher Broderbund, the founding of Maxis and Wright's partnership with Jeff Braun would flesh out the game's design and ultimately gain a gambling approval from Broderbund for this obscure and plotless pet project. The game was a massive hit, sold over a million copies, and spawned numerous spin-offs that all continued Wright's passion of complex systems, insight influenced by works like Lovelock's Gaia Theory and Forrester's Urban Dynamics. And then came the so-called interactive dollhouse that would prove to be another risky venture. Acquired by Electronic Arts for over a hundred million big ones, Maxis was given the green light to develop an even more incomprehensible simulation, this time of our own lives. The Sims would go on to become the greatest selling PC game of all time, continuing the series' trend of appealing to an incredibly wide demographic, notably females, prefiguring the broadening market that would blow open in the late 2000s. Of course, all of this did not happen on this one day, but Wright's passage into presence is without a doubt one birthday worthy of all of our embarrassingly exasperating happy birthday to yous. Along with contemporaries Peter Molyneux and Sid Meier, Will Wright turned the god game from bizarre abstract winless and by association funless concept into the addictive, engrossing, relatable, empowering, intelligent, and winless, but by practical association a hell of a lot of fun, reality. His passions in architecture, complex systems, engineering, computers, and entertainment all came together to prove that you don't need to bring down a building to amuse yourself. You can just as pleasurably fund its construction. Happy birthday, Mr. Wright, on this January 20th, this day in gaming. <laughs>